Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Dennis Van Kampen and in this video tutorial series we will discuss SAP HANA Express Edition. The topic of this video tutorial is connecting with SAP HANA Studio to the VM and we'll be using Eclipse. SAP HANA Studio is a tool that you can use to administer and develop the SAP HANA database and platform. Now HANA Studio is typically bundled with the HANA server so it comes on the same DVD or it comes with the same download. But if you do not have access to that, that's no problem at all because it's just an Eclipse plugin and you can very easily just install Eclipse on your computer, uh, whether it's a Windows computer or a Mac or a Linux, it doesn't matter, and then add the plugin and then connect to your HANA database. Now, if you're familiar with Eclipse, you know that you can find a lot of the plugins on the Eclipse marketplace. However, for HANA Studio, you have to go to another location, which is this website, tools.hana.ondemand.com. And here on the homepage, you can see the different types of tools that are available for Eclipse. And at this time of recording, two versions are supported. That is Eclipse Neon 4.6 and Eclipse Mars 4.5. So typically these are not the latest versions. Also note, there's a troubleshooting section. So should anything go wrong, please take a look at the FAQ and should you have a lawyer in the family, you can always send them the SAP developer license agreement for some fun reading. Okay. And when I select HANA, we'll see our HANA tools operating systems supported our windows, Mac and Linux. A Java runtime is required for Eclipse. So if you do not have any, you need to install that first. You can download it from java.com. And then there are some memory settings you could set. And then the procedure is install Eclipse and then using the Eclipse menu, install new software. We're going to add this link tools.hannaondemand.com to add the studio plugin. So let's go ahead. I'll just open this in a new tab and download the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. This is a little smaller than the Java enterprise edition developers. It saves me some time. I'm here on Mac OS. So I'll select this link and then get it from the nearest mirror. When the download is finished, extract the file in the Mac, it comes as a tarball and then double click to run it. Now you might want to copy it to your application folder, but it's not required. You will be prompted to select the directory as workspace, which Eclipse uses to store its preferences and development artifacts. And you can select to use this as the default. So you won't be prompted again. Okay, so here we have Eclipse. Now let's return to our browser and then follow the rest of the procedure. In Eclipse, choose the menu bar, help install new software, and then add this URL. Let's call it HANA. And then here, if you expand HANA tools, you'll see we have these four different types of tools. Now we don't need the HANA Cloud Platform tool, so we'll unselect that one and then select next. Next, of course, the inevitable license agreement and then select finish. So what halfway you will be prompted with a security warning mentioning that you are installing software that contains unsigned content, which you will have to OK. Otherwise, the installation will be canceled. OK, we'll take some time to download and install the software, but eventually you will get this message. You will need to restart Eclipse for the changes to take effect. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, initially it will look the same, but if we select the different perspectives, you can see that we now have an SAP HANA Administration Council development and a modeler perspective. So let's open our console. It's identified by the Swiss tool knife. And then here in the system view, we can add a system. Now, before we can add any system, first we need to start up our VM and make sure HANA is running. So I got our SAP HANA server only VM running here. And with the command HTB info, I've checked that the HANA server is up. You see all processes are up. Now, when you have your VM in, in bridge networking, which is the default setting, uh, the IP is provided by a DHCP server uh, that VMware is running. 
and for VirtualBox this works pretty much the same, which means that your IP will change from time to time. You can query it with the command sudo ifconfig, and it will change, for example, if, if you go from your home office to your work office, because here you typically have a different IP range. Now in a different video, I showed you how you can set a fixed IP and then add that fixed IP to your local host file of your computer, uh, be it a Mac or, or a Windows. This is what I've done here. So I can just connect with HXE host and we get the same output. So if you set up this way, you could use the host name here. Alternatively, of course, you could use the IP, but bear in mind that this IP address might change. So I find this more convenient. Then the instance number is something your administrator will tell you. You'll have to know that. We can detect it from the HTTP info command. Here we have a 00, and that will be our instance number. HXE is the SID. Then this is a multiple container system, and the only container that's available is the system database. If you want, you can add a description. Click Next. Then you will need to provide connection properties, which is the database user and the password. Now the only account available to us at this stage is the system user. So I will enter system here and the password is the same default password as we have seen for the HXE ADM user, the SAP HANA operating system administration account. So that's HXE HANA 1. Just like for the OS, we will be prompted to enter a new password. So I'll enter the old password and then a strong new password, uppercase, lowercase, and numbers. Password has been changed and the connection is established. And you can use this icon with the wrenches to open the administration console. And in the toolbar below here, we'll have our connection details, HXE, which is the SID, HXE host, which is our host name, 00, our instance number, systemdb, the database, and system, the account. Okay, so much for connecting to the SAP HANA Express Edition server-only VM with HANA Studio. You can find more videos on our YouTube channel, SAP HANA Academy. So please subscribe. You can join us on our LinkedIn group or follow us on Twitter. And if you like this video, give it a thumb up. Okay, thank you for watching.